Drinking Buddies. We're doing a bottle and bond tournament with all of these whiskeys you see right here. We're currently in the round of 16. Let's see what the best bottle and bond bourbon is. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> all right, drinking buddies, for the first round, we did a double blind. My wife poured me four from something up here. We found a winner in that round, and I'll go ahead and post that video in the description so you can go and watch that one. Uh, but a lot of people in the comments were like, you should do an entire tournament. So I thought I would take the rest of my Bald Autumn Bond whiskeys and throw them in a tournament. It's going to be double blind. From here on out, I won't know any of the bottles. The first round was double blind, but I know which three whiskeys were eliminated, and I know which one moved on. But from here on out, I'm not going to know anything. They are all bottled and Bond, except for, well, you might notice this guy right here. I decided to throw in a wild card because Wild Turkey 101 was designed to be like, hey, that your bald and bond bourbon, we're better. We're 101 proof. Um, and that's why it is 101 proof. They wanted to be bigger and bolder and better than bottled and bond. So I decided it would be fun to throw this one in here. Other than this guy, everything else up here is bottled and bond. There's some interesting stuff like that Jack Daniels triple mash. Um, this mellow corn is a corn whiskey. There's rye up here. There's bourbons up here. Um, technically, this dickel is a Tennessee whiskey, but it's a bourbon. Um, the only thing we can really do is dive right in. You'll know what I'm drinking. I will not. Ooh, nice nose. Pleasant nose. I think it's about 100 proof. <laughs> They're all 100 proof. Get it. All right. Um, smells like a bourbon on the nose. Oh, that's not a bourbon. That's a rye, I think. Hmm. There's a lot of medicinal quality going on on that one. Kind of like a red licorice thing. Brown sugar. And just a little bit of that like rye spiciness on the finish. Oh, completely different nose. This is young and grainy. It smells like my like cornbread. <laughs> huh. Peanuts. Not exactly sure what I was drinking there, um, but it tastes kind of thin, especially thin compared to the first one. I hope that isn't what I think it is, because I actually think that's the old granddad, and if it is, that'll be a little bit disappointing because I've heard so many good things about it. But no, I don't know what it is. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know what it is. I realize I went right in for the palate on that one. I didn't give any nosing notes, but the nose is going to be a little bit floral, citrusy, the grain thing on the finish. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if I know what any of these are, which doesn't matter. I'm, I'm really just looking for the best bottle. It doesn't matter what wins. The best bottle just needs to move forward. So I shouldn't try to guess at all. Ooh, I said that one smelled like cornbread. This is, did that one smelled like cornbread? This is, this is cornbread and creamed corn, like a can of corn. I just opened up a can of corn right here. Corny. And that tastes like corn too, with some nice spiciness on the finish. This is wild. This is really wild. I, I literally have no idea what any of these are. I mean, I think that, like I said, I think that's a rye. I guess the rest of these are bourbons or potentially mellow corn. Two. 
Two is two's growing on me though. Three is not great. That one's growing on me a little bit too. These two middle ones are not like blowing me away. I think it's gonna be between these two. I'm just feeling like it's number one. Gotta go back to this one more time. You might not even be seeing this. This might end up being cut. <sighs> Fresh cut grass on the nose here. I'm going with my gut, and that one just tastes better. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are bourbons. I'm pretty sure this is a rye. I think it might be Rittenhouse. I don't know for sure, but that's the one that's moving forward. These guys just aren't as good as that. I'm, I'm gonna laugh my butt off when I just eliminated one of the tailors, but that rye, Whatever it is, I shouldn't. I should stop calling it a rye because I'm probably wrong, and it's not a rye. That's the best one out here. Well, drinking buddies, I appreciate you watching, um, subscribing, clicking that bell. I wouldn't have any of this if it wasn't for you. Um, every time you click like, every time you hit subscribe, you are you are helping this channel run, and I just appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.